Hi, I'm Sim Tech, analyst at Stratfor, and I'm joined here today by Mark Schroeder, our Vice President for International Operations and Africa Analysis. We're going to be talking about President Buhari, the, the newly inaugurated president of Nigeria. So, Mark, we've seen Buhari kind of jump headfirst into his presidency, immediately making some indications of, of policy directions and, and taking trips abroad. How do you see Buhari shaping those initial days and, and, and what's the course we expect him to go on just very generally? Sure. So it's been roughly six days since he's been inaugurated and clearly he has come out running in favor of demonstrating national security as his initial priority. Uh, he has met with his service chiefs uh, and he has already conducted a visit to the neighboring countries of Chad and Niger to reassure military cooperation with these neighboring countries uh, and their support of the counterinsurgency effort against Boko Haram. And to just to reestablish that this is his priority, you know, six days into his government, he hasn't addressed economic issues. Uh, he has not begun to name his cabinet, uh, but he has clearly made moves to affect uh, the battlefield in favor of the Nigerian government. So Buhari, of course, has a, has a history in Nigeria. He is a, a former leader of the country um, and, and a more uh, military leadership kind of role. Um, so do we see Buhari focusing strictly on the security element? Because, I mean, some, some of the things on his agenda uh, in, in the near future will be at, uh, attending the G7 summit, um, which, which has less of a security um, uh, focus. And then an, another declaration by Buhari has been him t uh, about him taking a much more direct control of the uh, the oil ministry in the country. So where where do we do we put that distinction between his security uh, approach and and the other elements? That that's really a great question to get at the issue of multiple priorities that really face the new Buhari administration in Nigeria. And you, you absolutely correctly point out that he does bring a, a military background to his position as president of Nigeria. You know, he was military ruler of Nigeria in the 1980s, uh, and he was uh, a general who rose up through the ranks in the army. And so he, he, he aligns his constituencies clearly, you know, supportive of you know, military efforts, military leadership, restoring Nigeria's territorial integrity and national security after the previous administration, um, you know, maybe did not provide as much support in the counterinsurgency efforts against Boko Haram as, as Buhari now is, is indicating he will. But all that being said, there are other priorities that he has to address, and the the economy of Nigeria that still faces considerable austere financial conditions. Uh, this is a, another very top uh, and important uh, portfolio that he has to address, though these are difficult challenges, difficult policy decisions that he must make. Uh, and he is demonstrating uh, through the time he's already spent uh, in Nigerian government to say, you know, he's he's going to address these issues deliberately, um, but not rush into it. These are difficult issues such as, you know, how to balance the next Nigerian budget that is still, you know, being held up in the National Assembly, how to address things like fiscal, uh, the fiscal regime based on oil prices that are still decreased. Uh, how to support policies like the fuel subsidy that are commonly popular among, you know, the Nigerian population. But again, these are, these are much more difficult and complicated decisions that will generate political opposition and can, you know, kind of bring an end to the honeymoon that he experiences right now, whereas uh, a national security priority is not whatsoever controversial and, uh, and, and, and clearly aligns with his constituency. Considering all the, the advantages Buhari could bring in the security field, does this mean that Boko Haram is something of the past or does the threat really remain? No, that's an that's a excellent note to make to say that Boko Haram still remains you know, a credible threat on the battlefield and it has transitioned away from kind of a, a pitched 
style of warfare to uh, to an asymmetric style where it, it more conducts, you know, some suicide bombings, some improvised explosive device plantings against mobile forces. Uh, and, and Boko Haram, you know, has continued to deploy those tactics against Nigerian military forces and civilians in northeastern Nigeria. So, yes, Boko Haram is still still a threat, uh, but one that the Nigerian forces will be, you know, will be building their confrontation on. I see. Sadly, that's all we've got time for right now. Um, if you wish to find out more on this issue or other issues, please visit stratfor.com. Thank you very much.